Good afternoon, YouTube. Budget Benina here. Um, we are just about to go into Kroger's and we'll see what kind of deals they have in there. So I'm taking you along. Okay, we're in the produce department and I'm just kind of scanning a lot of the fruits and vegetable area. Um, the prices are definitely going up in these. Uh, I know it's going to be a little bit higher, especially um, they were talking about the trains, the Union Pacific um, going on strike and at least they're not doing it for 60 days. So, you know, for at least 60 days, we know we're gonna be getting all of this. And potatoes, onions, onions didn't look too good there this time. Um, and their sweet potatoes were a little on the scarce side. Bananas were definitely very picked over and they were at 52 cents a pound. The coffee selection was pretty well stocked. Um, prices are definitely going creeping up on that. So if you guys are like me, coffee lovers, you know, pick up a little extra here and there when you can. Um, I know it's hard to do, especially with the prices going up. Along with meat, oh my goodness, I couldn't believe how you know, some of the spots were pretty bare, but the prices are definitely skyrocketing. Hamburger meat, I just cannot get over that. Used to be the cheapest thing to buy. And now, you know, even like the chicken, ground turkey has gone up. There's the ground beef that was pretty scarce. I had a gentleman in front of me before I went to tape it. He was pondering whether he was going to get it or not. And let's see. The um, grass fed organic beef, that's actually pretty good, a little high priced. Um, Milk is definitely creeping up a little bit along with the eggs. Oh my goodness, I could not believe it. There is um, organic eggs up there on the top shelf. I think they were like $5.99. I just, I remember paying like 34 cents for a dozen eggs at Aldi's. But now we don't see those prices anymore. I don't know about you guys, but Every time I go to the grocery store, I'm hurting just a little bit. <laughs> their bread selection was definitely pretty sparse. As you can see, they're facing things to the front, so it looks like there's more in the back. But then there's still definitely quite a bit of holes in there. And um, they're putting their brand on the very top shelf so it's not at eye level so that you're buying the more expensive bread did not know that until I was in there. I was like, that's pretty interesting because most people grab what they see at the eye level, not looking up higher. I started panning up. I'm like, oh, there's where all the Kroger bread is. It used to be down at the bottom. <sighs> oh, well, everybody's got to try and make a buck, right? <laughs> I hope everybody is definitely having a wonderful day. And I want to thank you um, for watching my video i appreciate everybody who who um, tunes into my channel and i just want to say thank you um this is all new for me and i'm just loving the fact that you know you guys are watching and it, i appreciate you guys tremendously um let's see i think i just did peanut butter next um that was gonna be the last of what i was showing you guys um, the peanut butter definitely had some holes in it and their prices are going up and one thing Kroger's does is they put those little blue stickers sorry for the inconvenience um, that they were out of it and they're definitely putting more of those up and this is pretty much the end of it so I appreciate it have a wonderful day